Schools really bouncing back to normal. Kentucky's annual school report card is out and it says otherwise. JCPS performing below average in almost every single category. The report shows low test scores and significant achievement gaps among our students. On a scale from 0 to 125, elementary school students in the entire state scored a 59.3 in math and reading overall. Middle schoolers scored a 56.9 and high school students scoring 56.6 overall. All of those are considered below average, but as WHS 11's Isaiah Kim Martinez tells us, some teachers feel this doesn't hone in on the root issues. While the issues themselves aren't new, JCPS teachers are concerned with poverty levels correlating even more with lower scores. Now one educator tells me getting to the root of this problem will play a large factor pushing forward. While he's taking the state's report card with a grain of salt. We're just being based upon a single test measure or a test score. It's really disheartening. Kumar Rashad does admit COVID era learning heightened a need for better resources. A teacher at Breckenridge Metropolitan Hive, he continues to see socioeconomic disparities take heavy tolls on students day in and day out. A lot of my students have to survive first. And a lot of these survival skills aren't measured and they deal with things that students in other parts of the school would never be able to deal with fully. According to US News, 88% of students at Breckenridge are minorities and 76% are economically disadvantaged. Rashad tells me the State Department of Ed's report card in large part highlights what teachers already know to be underlying issues. If we want to really fix this problem, we got to put our money into eradicating poverty. Emily McKiernan and Blanton agrees. And there's a, this mentality of you just got to pull yourself up by your bootstraps, but these they're born without shoes. As a board member, for the Jefferson County Teachers Association. She believes until schools are properly funded, little will change. The students that are in low performing schools don't have the opportunity to always have a full time certified teacher in their classroom. That's a problem. They also don't have the same opportunities that their more affluent peers have before they ever touch the school building. And with a persistent teacher shortage, she says the path forward again circles around equitable investment. Teachers like Rashad are encouraged by students increased readiness out of high school, he believes continuing to invest in trade programs within JCPS will have a positive impact. Here in Louisville, Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 on your side.